Hello and welcome to our Curious Creative Collaboration. Week 4 is all about pens, twigs, skewers, and tea bags. I know a lot of artists that work with tea bags and they make fantastic works of art. Um, I've not had that experience, so for this week, tea bags will serve as a texture element. Alright, so here are some skewers and something that looks like a witch's broom. I took a piece of brittle rope that I used on a clip, but took it off and tied it onto this thin twig. And I wouldn't call the twigs and flat pine needles a brush, it's, it's more like a stamp. But let's see what happens. I merely dipped the twigs and skewer into the yes paste, then wrapped it up with masking tape or ribbon. I didn't feel much like foraging. We have a beautiful giant redwood tree in our backyard, so that's all I could muster up given the fact that we've had several days of 100 degree weather, so I think you understand. When I think of pens, my mind immediately goes to the classic ballpoint. Well, these are usually called markers, but in actuality, they are pens of paint and ink. Growing up, I would refer to these as felt tip pens, but even I refer to them as markers. But for this week, these are indeed pens. After I gathered everything, I thought, how am I going to utilize these elements? And for some reason, my head was stuck on having to start on anything other than a blank piece of paper. So I decided once again to work with scraps and tags. This time larger tags that are 4 by 8 inches. And yes, they're quite busy, but if you don't know by now, I always go for color and pattern. And I'm preaching to the choir here, but if you're tired of your scraps or want to do something different, of course, use up that scrap of paper, uh, use book pages, use magazines. The main thing is to like what you put down. And if you're not into collage, you can certainly just put one design and glue that on your surface. Um, it's all good. I find for me that if I like, if it's pleasing to my eye, then I'm more excited to start the process. You know, anything goes, there are no rules. Just do what feels right for you. The first step is to glue down the tea bags as our textural element. So I'm going to fast forward and let you watch and I'll meet you at the end of the process.
addition to the pens and twigs, I'll be using acrylic paint mixed with a little acrylic glaze and stencils, but I'll be using them in a different way than I normally do. Okay, see you at the end.
you know, I'm the jury's out again on this one. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I mean, I can see some redeeming qualities, but I know I need to put more work into this, which isn't what I was planning to do. So, it is almost 1 a.m. I think I'll call it a night and come back with fresh eyes in the morning. Perhaps look for a focal point. But uh, stay tuned because we still have work to do. All right, I'll be right back. It's true what they say about things looking better in the morning. And I'll add coffee to that, please. I've had these adorable stickers made by sweet Kelly Mae Krenz on my desk along with other little bits for some time now. Well, they caught my eye and came to my rescue. Let me show you. I love the sticker and sentiment, which reads, It's okay to feel small sometimes. You are precious always. And Kelly's stickers really showcase her gorgeous slow stitching with beads and beautiful threads. Once I decided on the placement, I added more of the twiggy circles and yellow stencil detail for a bit more balance and composition. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And this face! It's as if the sticker was made for this tag because it appears very seamless. I just added a few more loopy circles with the Posca pens, and now I'm really happy with the way both tags turned out. Thanks so much, Kelly. You really saved the day. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much that you spend time with us every week, and we really love sharing ideas and perhaps some inspiration for you to follow along. I hope you've had a chance to watch Claudette's video. I'll give you a hint, her twig brushes are beyond beautiful, but I have to laugh at mine. And I don't, <laughs> I don't mean to be putting myself down or anything like that. You know, it's, it's, we have a true friendship. I mean, I'm just, I'm just blown away. So please go watch her video. And um, she says this too in her video, and I agree. What we love most about our collaborations is that we never know what to expect from one another. We never know how the other person will approach these prompts. But we just love sharing ideas and the way we approach things differently and um, it's it's just really fun and we're happy that you're a part of it so until next week take care and see you then bye